Hello kitty. Look at you. Oh yeah. I'm gonna get her phone number tonight. <laughs> yeah, I am. Don't tell her wife. I don't want to get in any trouble or anything. Shame she came home. Found a kitty hanging out. You know what I'm talking about? Anywho, your pal out here today. We're at Universal Studios again. We're gonna check out something brand new. Hopefully I can bring you guys along. If not, I'll give you a review about it. But this is it right here. The Born Stuntacular. I didn't get that right. We're gonna check it out without further ado. Let's freak out. Please stand clear of the doors. Be here a while. Hopefully, not too long. Let's see what happens. While we wait for the show to start, which will be at 3:30 today, we still got like about a half an hour or so. So we're gonna come back to that. But I wanted to show you this. It is Vigo, the Carpathian, signed by uh, Sigourney Weaver herself. This is really cool. Would love to get that. Probably expensive as all hell. Oh yeah, it is, $950. Good Lord, but look at that. Wouldn't you love to have that staring at you while you're eating breakfast? Lord knows I would. You know, if you kind of stare into his eyes, you can get a little, get a little tranced right there. I mean, because it's kind of, it's kind of a, kind of a, what that was all about. I'm gonna stay away from that picture though. Ask me. I remember these guys from the Monster Cafe over on the other side of the park. I kind of moved them over here. Looking good though. Especially Dracula. Look at him. My buddy Bobby Keller from Mechanism, the guitarist, he would he'd love to have that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, they, got <laughs> they already have some born stunt spectacular, stuntacular gear, t-shirts, hats, and of course the mugs. I'm a mug guy, you know? i love to have a mug. Get cut off sleeves on the shirt there, and then we got a long sleeve right here. We got Spy X going on. Get your spy on. Some other gear here. Across the way, they have some sweatshirts. This guy, he's on a mission. He's running. Look at him. What are you running from, son? What are you running from? And there's the crew, all dressed in the born stunt-tacular gear. Looking good, fellas. Looking good. A few moments later. All right, so we're in. Look at that. That is pretty cool. Gotta walk around outside and then inside. This is what the nor line would normally look like if it wasn't a pandemic, but oh well. All right, I'll keep filming until they tell me to stop. Let's see what happens. Wow. This place has changed. Big time. So cool, huh? Nice. We're gonna check that car out in a minute. Look at that. Jason Bourne. David Webb. This is Jason Bourne. Where are you now? Wow. 
I'm sitting in my office. We got you in your stunt office. Stunt stuff. Oh, I want a car with a screen in. Look at the size of this room. Holy crap. It's dark in here too, so if the camera's kind of messing up, it is what it is. Out of respect for uh, Universal, I'm not going to film the whole show, but I'll give you a taste of what's going on in there periodically. Here we go. Alright, so they just told us that we're not going to be able to film, so I'm just going to show you this and then I'm cutting out. I'll see you afterwards with a review. Thank you. Oh boy. So that was really cool. That was actually very, very awesome. Quick review on it though. What I was mostly impressed by was the fact that what you're seeing in that for the show is what they're doing in Hollywood right now. Like basically, not giving any spoils or spoilers away on Hollywood, but nothing's real in Hollywood anymore. Like there's only a very little bit of stuff that you actually see on screen is actually physically real. And they really brought that aspect to the show. Yeah, it is. <laughs> By having uh, uh, the aspect of a huge, really, really high definition screen and moving the props around at the same exact motion as the screen's moving. If you stared at the actor the entire time while you're watching that show, you are completely immersed into that show. It's kind of like watching a movie, but instead of watching a movie on a screen, on a big screen, like in a theater or on a television screen at home, you're actually watching the movie be made right in front of you, but without all the director cuts and, you know, and different lighting effects and stuff like that that you can actually physically see on a movie set, if that makes any sense. But this, was really really awesome. I was very impressed by it and uh, actually Gonzo from Adventures of Gonzo, my good friend, he called me up while I was on my way over to Universal today and he told me you gotta check that out. So I was like you know what I'm gonna make a video about it. And here we are. That was really cool. If you have a chance to get out to Universal and check that out, born stunt spectacular very awesome awesome show very impressed much better than terminator oh and by the way speaking of terminator if you are an old school universal visitor you'll notice a couple of easter eggs in that show i'll give one away but there's a whole bunch of other ones see if you can spot them next time you're here and you actually enjoy the show one of the easter eggs that i'll give away is that used to be Terminator T2 experience, if you remember. And one of the coffee shops that Jason Bourne is kind of swinging around and jumping around on, it's called Connor's Coffee. And I thought that was a cute way to uh, give a nod to the old school show that was in that facility before this one took over. So that was really cool. But uh, there's a whole bunch of other ones though, but I'm not going to give them away. I'm going to let you try to find the Easter eggs because that's part of the fun of trying to find those. I wish I could have showed you more. But uh, other than that, I had a great time, man. Very impressive. If you enjoyed this video, hit a like so I know you did. And if you're new here, hit subscribe. We'll be going on a lot more adventures kind of like this one. We'll be heading back to the Disney parks next week. So I'll have some Disney videos coming out pretty soon here. But until then, remember, life is what you make of it, so make it a good one. And I will see you all real soon. Take care. I'm gonna be famous on them YouTube.